redrafting a draft class. Um, I was looking through some of the, the older ones, trying to figure out which one I, I wanted to do. I didn't want to do one that was super recent. I wanted guys that have had some years to come in and establish themselves as players. Uh, and the 2021 class is deep. And I want to go through and redraft it because – very, very interesting how I think this would shake out if this draft happened today, knowing what we know now. Um, so I'm going to ask you, how do you want to do it? Do you want to do like back and forth picks? You just want to like go and say who we would take in this that situation? We can do back and forth. Yeah. Right. So, we're doing just the play, not like fit, like not. Like, no, not okay. not worrying about fit at all. Take take fit out of it. I don't care who's on the clock, whatever. Just. Strictly like best player available. Who are you taking? Okay, but all right. So let's do a redraft of the 2021 NBA draft. I'm gonna give you the first pick. Are you sticking with Cade or are you going somewhere else? I'm sticking with Cade, man. I'm sticking with Cade. I feel like the discourse around Cade is it's not fair. The team around him has not been suited to best fit his skill set. I feel like he still has crazy upside. I still like he he shows great flashes even on this terrible team. So mm-hmm. yeah, I, I thought Kate was playing well when they were breaking a record for the losses. <laughs> like I still thought yeah. he was playing well. So yeah, I'm sticking with Kate. Definitely, definitely. I think that's the right choice. Um, second pick is where I am veering away from history. Um, I'm gonna take Evan Mobley. I'm gonna take Evan Mobley here. Um, okay. The defensive versatility is just. It's, it's too much to pass up on. The offense has started to come around a little bit more uh, since he's come back from injuries, look good as of late. Uh, so I'm, I'm taking Evan Mobley there. I'm still super, super high on what his his final ceiling could be as a, a player. Absolutely, absolutely. Pick number three, I am going to pick Scotty Barnes. Um, I feel like Scotty – like people were getting on him because from from here one year or two they're like he made no improvements no job right <laughs> we see we've seen the improvements this year obviously making his first All Star team he's been playing really well um, obviously the defense is there and they're actually well I was about to talk about his team team doesn't really matter right now but just I feel mm-hmm. like this is the point where I can pick Scotty here I think he still has even a higher ceiling I think he can get even better so I'm picking Scotty okay so I, we're was that three picks deep now mm-hmm. fourth pick. I'm going to be taking Franz Wagner. Okay. He's out here. He's just such a complete player. 21 points, uh, six rebounds, four assists. Can't really slow him down. He can handle the ball. He can play off the ball. He can play defense. Um, you know, he he just – it's really crazy to think back on that draft and see that he slid all the way to eight. Um, like the magic really got a steal in the, the middle of the lottery and he pairs so well with what they're doing there um, with Paolo. So I think Franz has to be, be up here. I can't pass him up any further. Got you. Got you. Great pick. Great pick. Great pick. Pick number five. I'm going to go oh. Alperin Shangun. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I think that obviously we've seen when the offense run through Shangun, they play best. Obviously we've seen a jump in his, in his stats. I believe he went from what is it, 14 points per game to 21. Now um, Rockets aren't like the best team in the world, but they're playing a little bit better. He was a person that possibly could have been on an all-star team this year. So mm-hmm. I think he's playing well. And I still think he has even more room to grow as with a lot of these players. So I'm excited for what his ceiling could be. Obviously, you know, baby Jokic, can he be, you know, can he be right. Jokic's brother now? Can he, you know, step up a little bit? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm going to go Alperin Shane going there. And now is where I think it really gets interesting. <laughs> now the draft. Now we've been taking a, right, now we've <laughs> taken a little bit of a, a drop off here. Um, with My next pick. This is ooh, this is interesting. This is fun. Hold on. This is mad fun. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, there's some, it's some options here. There is some options here. Let me just double check and make sure I'm not missing anybody in the second round. <laughs> um, okay. For my next pick, it might have to be. Is it Kaminga? I see he's up there. Is this possible? It might just be Kaminga. Er. Hmm. It's- 
I'm torn between him and Trey Murphy. That yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Kaminga, especially how he's been playing as of late. Finally, Steve Kerr done unleashed him from his bench role. <laughs> right. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna take Kaminga there. The, the talent, um, the upside, the athleticism is they has so much that he's I, again. I feel like we're just now starting to finally really scratch the surface there. Mm-hmm. Um, with, with him in this Golden State rotation, so I think it's only up for him. Hundred percent, it's a good pick. Honestly, I'm gonna pick Trey Murphy because I it, was, it really was between them two. I'm gonna pick Trey Murphy. Side note, I think Trey Murphy has one of the prettiest jump shots in the league, bro. He that does. junk is beautiful. Like I, it's money every time I, I watch him play. So I'm gonna pick Trey Murphy here. I think he has good upside, and I think this is, I think this is a good pick. I think it's a good pick right here. I'm probably about to shock you here. My next pick, bro. Give me Cam Thomas. Oh, you did shot me. Okay. okay. Give me Cam Thomas, bro. Okay. I've seen. Far, I'm not mad at it either. I'm nah, not mad at it. I've seen far too many flashes out of Cam Thomas. He can't slide no further in his draft right now, bro. I respect it. Like a guy who has put up multiple 40 point games. He's and he's been a bucket at every single level. He put up 25 a night at LSU, got to the Nets team with KD, with Kyrie, with James Harden, still giving out buckets. They leave. He's still giving out buckets now with Mikel. He is a professional scorer, bro. Give me Cam Thomas. Bet, bet. I, I like it. I like it. What what pick are we on? What what number is that? I have um, not been keeping track at all. <laughs> I low key have not either. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, got, I got you right. We're going Cade Mobley. All right. It was Scotty. Scotty. It was Franz. Franz. Shangun. Yeah. Kaminga. Kaminga. Then you I went Trey Kaminga Murphy. Was, uh, and then that just went um, Cam Thomas. Cam Thomas. Okay, so this is pick nine here. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I think here I got to go. I got to go Herb Jones. I got Herb go. Jones, another guy. Was, I was waiting to see where he was going to go. I got to go Herb okay. Jones. I love the defense. I just think out of all these other names here, just who I would rather have on my team. Mm-hmm. Give me, yeah, give me Herb Jones. Give me Herb Jones. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. This is so pick that, ten here. That's pick ten. There's a guy who has not been picked yet. Still. No, I know. And that, <laughs> he, that, this is crazy, but like, this is the first pick. Like, I'm I'm starting to consider him. And really, part of why I picked Cam Thomas is like, when I think about Jalen Green and Cam Thomas, the same type of archetype of player right now, I would. Probably pretty clearly rather have Cam Thomas. Like it's not much of a discussion in my head mm-hmm. right now. Absolutely. And obviously they're in different situations. Like it's not the easiest to gauge, but right now, as of today, February 2024, I would rather have Cam Thomas and Jalen Green. It's not I mean I'm out on Jalen Green entirely. I just I've talked about it before. I think there's a lot that he needs to mold about his game and his shot selection. Um, I'm thinking about taking him here, and I'm also torn between another guy. Who uh, he's having a breakout year this year. If he didn't get hurt, he probably would be the front runner for most improved player. And Jalen Johnson, mm, he was in there. He was definitely up there. Yeah, I uh, damn it, is that disrespectful? Am I tweaking out too much if I took Jalen Johnson here? I'm actually a really big Jalen Johnson fan. I like his game a lot. He yeah, he's bro can do a lot on the floor. Like he's. It's crazy, but he's at least the last couple of years of John Collins, he's just like better John Collins. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the way that he fits into the Hawks roster. Uh can shoot athletic rebound. Man, I just convinced myself. Give me, give me Jalen Johnson here. Uh yo, yeah, he would yo, bro. His he went from five points a game to 15. Jesus Christ. Another crazy jump. jump. Wild, bro. Wild. Um, okay, so you went who you go again? Oh, Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson. I'm going Austin Reeves. Oh, he didn't even gonna... get drafted. I th- we can't. We can't go AR. We can't go AR. I was That's just like, fair. "That's fair." Okay. I I tell you what. I tell you what. I won't do it because he didn't get drafted. I won't do it. I won't do it. 
But just know if if he got drafted, that's where he that's right where he would slide in. Okay, that's where he'd slide in for me. But I feel like now it's low key getting disrespectful. No, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I feel like that's fair though, because if he was redrafted in a draft class, this is technically still his draft class. You could take Austin Reeves here. What's that? No, nah, I meant I meant disrespectful was not like if I don't take Jalen Green. <laughs> No, no, if you take Austin Reeves, I'll take Jalen Green. I was gonna take Jalen Green next, regardless. Okay. Um, he can't go, he can't slide out the lottery. That's he can't he's slide. tweaking out. Sliding out the lottery is crazy. So tell you what, look, yeah. I'll go, I'll go AR because it's right. Teddy is his draft guys. And then you say you're going uh Jalen Green. Jalen Green. Jay, so what pick would Jalen Green be? The 12th. Oh, he almost slid. He almost slid. Sheesh, that's crazy. This and is a loaded draft class, though. It's it's a really good draft class. And obviously, Man. if you're a big Jalen Green guy, you're a fan of his like you know his upside. Feel like he can clean up his game a little bit. He definitely, obviously, has a case to be higher than some of oh, you yeah. guys to put ahead of him. But like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a good draft class. You know what I mean? Right. It's, a, it's a good draft class. Now, I might be out of my mind with this pick here. I feel like I know who you're about to say. <laughs> I might be out of my mind. I'm considering it. Let me just hold on. Let me let me let me scout the landscape real quick. And go over all my <laughs> prospects. The upside though is, <sighs> but they're also all right. My, right now, I'm stuck between the unknown upside mm-hmm. or the solid. You know, I can Role get a guy. Yeah, but I'm. A, I like risk. Give me Trey Man. I knew you were gonna say <laughs> Trey Man. Give, give me <laughs> Trey Man, bro. Because the upside is yo, the upside is crazy. You saw what he's doing right now. He's hooping. Bro, bro is hooping. Do you see how much space he began on his step backs, bro? Yeah, bro. He looked like baby Shay. It is crazy. I'm so glad that he's out of out of OKC now. I'm so glad, bro. Yeah, he needed he needed minutes. He needed minutes, bro. He's too he's way too good of a hooper to not get minutes. Hornets. Grant Williams era four game winning streak. I'm just saying. Hey. Four and up. They move the ball. They, they pass the ball over there. That's they, what he says. <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie. I just the upside is too much for me to pass up on, man. I gotta go trade man here. Okay. What pick are we on? This is will be the 14th. Okay, this this will be the end of the lottery. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna talk through my thought process because we I, there's a couple of guys here. Off the top, I'm looking at I'm looking at Quinn Grimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Whoa! Oh, this is this. No, nah, I my bad. It's just this is oh, a good draft class. My bad. It's no, just yeah. a really good draft class. There's some names that definitely could argue be higher. Oh yeah, I'm looking at Quinn Grimes. <clears throat> It's crazy that I get he hadn't even got drafted, but he just or Suggs, like, Suggs too. Ooh. That's, what That's why I said oh, Suggs so I'm a, like, yeah, Suggs another guy. Suggs this year, Jalen Suggs, like he really has found his role. Exactly, Jalen Suggs, Josh Giddy. Are you a Davion Mitchell guy? I am a big Davion Mitchell fan. He was another guy that I was thinking about here. Zaire Williams. Really is between the, the, the three of them. You can go Kai Jones. <laughs> <laughs> the GOAT. You can go to GOAT. Bro, did they ever say what, what, what was good there? Like, do we know. know or I, I gotta Google know. it real quick because like what's what's he been on, bro? Is he I think I think he's hooping in like some other league. I see, I think I've seen a clip on Twitter, so I hope he's straight, bro, because that video was concerning. Very much. Um, so. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Suggs, bro. I, I'm, I'm taking the defense over over uh, what I potentially could have got. Uh, obviously, all three of those guys are good defenders between Quentin Grimes and, and Suggs and Davion Mitchell. But Suggs is just, bro, especially early this season, the, the people were starting to comp him. Marcus Smart, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Scrappy. He found a, a role that he can excel in, and I'm still a believer <clears throat> that the offense will, will come around a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I don't think it's ever going to hit what it may have been projected to. But, bro, in high school, Suggs was – you know he was Mr. Football and Mr. Basketball, I think, in Minnesota yeah. at the same time. I didn't know that. I know he was nice at football. He was a quarterback, right? 
Yeah, he was yeah. like that. Oh, yeah, I'm, he was dumb nice and full. I remember that. Yeah. I didn't know he won that, but I, I remember he was – yeah, because they were showing his football highlights. He was crazy. He was going crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he won Mr. Football the same year he won Mr. Basketball. He, but That's OD. I, that's, no, that's crazy. That's a, that's a <laughs> wild flex. Like, nobody, right, yo, facts. I'm, nobody boy, in this place can touch me. Yeah. So that's the, that's the whole lottery. Mm-hmm.